In this video we're going to simulate and lay out our full adder. So I've gone ahead and I've created a file called adder underscore 2 and that's the schematic and I've built up the schematic which we've seen in the previous video. So just as a reminder that's the circuit for the alternative CMOS full adder. We have our A and B inputs, we have our carry in which is the C here, we've got our carry out and we've got the sum. So you can go ahead and build this up in the same manner that I've built it or alternatively you can just use the copy that I have here. Now if you want to run the simulation I've got a little simulation file here so this is our little spice code and that's in the resources section so you can go and open up that file and if you head into the components tab here and I'll get rid of my image here so you can see first of all and you can head into the miscellaneous and it's spice code and put that down and you can go control I and you can copy that file and paste it in here. Remember to click on the multi-line text. So I'll get rid of this first of all. Okay so this this is the spice code here. Now let's run this up and we'll actually see it working. So in order to run it up we're going to go to our tools, spice, simulation spice, right spice deck. So that's it work through the simulation. I'll click on the little um, box here in order to bring up our options. So we're going to have our VA, VB, we're going to have our carry in, our carry out, and we're going to have our sum value as well. So I'll OK on that. And we'll go to right click, add plot pane, add plot pane, add plot pane and add plot pane. So I think we'll put the um, carry in up the top. So that's the carry in there. And then we're going to have our B and we're going to have our A. So I've just set these up so that we're going to get all the possible combinations of A's and B's. Now finally we'll look at the carry out. So we'll take the, we'll take the carry out and we've got the sum at the bottom. So this just works through the boolean functions for our carry in and our carry out for the two bit adder. And let's just follow a few of these through. So if we're going to have a one for the carry in and a one for the B and a one for the A, so we're going to add one, one and one. So we're going to get an answer a number three, but three in uh, the boolean al uh, arithmetic is going to be um, a value of 1, 1. Okay, so that's going to have 1 for the sum and 1 for the carry. So we've got 1 for sum, 1 for carry. In this instance here we're going to have a 1 for the carry in, 1 for B and a 0 for A. So we're going to have 1 plus 1 which is going to be a value of 0 for the sum and the carry 1. And you could just work through each of these in turn and you'll see that this covers all of the possible combinations of the three inputs that we've got for our carry in, our A and our B. And it just follows through the truth table for the full adder. And if you go back to one of the previous videos, you'll see that truth table and you can just follow all through. OK, so what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to uh, actually do the full layout. So let's go ahead and we'll take this and we'll, well I'll, I'll, I've actually done the layout and I'll talk my way through the layout for you. So here's our uh, layout file here and this is the full layout for that circuit. Now I would suggest to you if you were going to work through this yourself and build this up for yourself you really should take a copy of the circuit here and if you keep a copy of the circuit handy then as you make each connection you can just go in and this is just like a snipping tool so you can just go in and maybe put a, a red pen on and as you make each connection you can maybe just strike a line through it like this and 
so on and so forth and just work your way along until you've built up the whole circuit. So I'll keep that here just now. If I was going to build this up in front of you just uh, as I built it myself, the video would go on for too long. It would be on for over an hour or so. So it wasn't going, it isn't really going to be worth your while to sit and watch me build this up. Uh, we'll just talk through and we'll see exactly how I've built this. Or alternatively, you'll have access to this and you can work through it yourself and, and figure it out for yourself if you would like. But ostensibly, we've got all of the PMOS devices on the top. There's all of our PMOS devices. We've got all of our NMOS devices on the bottom. That's all of our NMOS devices. The, the whole circuit is mirrored along this line. So if you look at the top level here, the top part of this here is exactly the same as the bottom part because it's going to have a mirror symmetry along this line here. So let's start off in this top corner up here. We're going to have two transistors in parallel, so that's A and B. So we've got our A here on our polysilicon gate and we've got our B on our polysilicon gate. So that's these two transistors here. And the centre part here is going to be this part here. So this is going to be the sources that are joined together and both of them going to VDD. So this is the source for this transistor and the source for that transistor joined together going to VDD. And we come down through the transistor and we're going to go through the A transistor in this direction. And we're going to go through the B transistor down through in this direction. And when we get to the other side of these transistors, both of them are going to be joined together because they're in parallel. So we've joined both of these together in metal one. So that's the first two transistors in parallel shown here. So let's have a look and see what we head on next. So next what we're going to do is we're going to work our way down round this route here. So we've gone round this one. We're down here onto C. So the next transistor here, that's going to be one side of it which is this side here and the other side is going to be this side here and that's the C that we have for the carry in. Okay, So that's the this transistor here. Now whenever you get to the other side of this transistor, we're at this point here and you can know it's at the other side of this transistor here, we're actually at this point here. Okay, so it's at this point here. So this point's connected to all of these. It's connected to this one, to this one here. It's connected to the carry-in here as well. And it's also, sorry, the, the, the value for the carry-out. And it's connected to this point. So all of these are all connected together. And you can see here that I've actually got that line running here. So that's this point here, running down and running all the way along. So you can see that it's running along to the left-hand side here. So this is going to be the inverter for the carry out and that's this inverter here for to give to give us the value for our carry out and that inverter we've got the PMOS device which is up here and we've got the NMOS device which is down here and we've got the value this coming in here to the gate so this is it coming in to the gate here and the output is the other side of those two transistors which is this here and also this point here comes along and it's going to get into uh, this uh, inverter here as well so that inverter you can see is along here so if we come along all the way along to uh, this point here that's going to be these two transistors here okay now you can follow through this point here this point it also comes along and it's going to go into this A and B, and the A and B are both in series. So again, we're now along at this point here. So the other side of this transistor here is going into the A transistor. Okay, so this is going to be, you can see the A here. So that's the polysilicon A. So that's one of the transistors, that's A, and then the other transistor goes from this point here to this point here, and that's the B. So that's the B coming down here. And finally, the output there is going to the VDD. So this output at this point here 
is going to be the output of the B here. Okay, now you can continue along and follow this route along. Um, it's a bit awkward to see here because this I'll move this over a wee bit here. So now we're going to have to have the three transistors in series in parallel and three transistors in series. Now you can see these here. We're going to have the oh, I'll move this again. We're going to have back onto this. We're going to have the three transistors in series and three transistors in parallel. So that's these three here. So we're going to have the three in parallel. So that's the three in parallel here. So we're going to have our A, our, uh, a and our B and our C and our in parallel here. And this gives us the parallel combination. And we're going to have the series combination for the A, the B and the C here. And this is the three transistors in series and the output going to VDD. And finally, we've got the uh, final output here for the sum here, which if I bring that little image back up, or picture back up, is this output here. So that's the final inverter to give us the sum. So that was, and also it's just a mirrored image. So all of what we have up here is mirrored down below. So what you could do is you could always open this up and take your time and you can pull it apart yourself and you can have a look and see exactly how I've built it. Or if you're having difficulty with it, you can always get in touch with me and I can talk it over with you. Now, I've also got the uh, SPICE code here. So this is just a copy of the same SPICE code that we've got here. Okay. So whenever we go through, we can now run this whole file here. But just another thing to note as well, I never mentioned this here, we've got the VDD connection here and the ground connection and of course those are connected to the actual um, well. Okay, so this is going into the N well here at the top and this is going into the P well here at the bottom. Okay, so that means that the N well is connected to, for the PMOS devices, are connected to VDD and the P well for the NMOS devices is connected to ground. Okay, so in the previous ones, you've had quite a few of these running all the way along, but I've only just put a couple here just to make it a bit, a bit neater. And we only need a couple here anyway for this device. So let's go ahead and we'll run the simulation. So we'll get into tools and we'll go to uh, space. Simulation spice, right? Spice deck. And we should just get the same values that we had out previously. So we click on that and let's have a wee look and we'll go and find the values what we're looking for. You see there's actually quite a few within this. So we're going to have to find our VA and we're going to have a VB. We're also looking for our, let's see if I can find, there's a sum, there's a carry in and there's a carry out. Okay, so that's all of them here. And we'll go to add plot pane, add plot pane, add plot pane, add plot pane. And again, we'll follow the same route. So we had carry in at the top and then we had B. And then we had our A, and then we had our carry out and our sum. And if you follow this through, you'll see this is just exactly the same as we had in the whenever we looked at the schematic. Okay, so this is following our full adder. Now what we can do is we can take this circuit which we've produced here and if we want to build an 8-bit, say, adder, then we can take each of these blocks and we can create a, a symbol for these. So I'll, I'll go ahead and create the symbols for these as well. So you'll have access to the symbols and then we can go ahead and we can build an 8-bit adder with these. So that's all there is for this video. It's been quite a quick video considering um, the amount of work that's involved in putting this together. 
but I think you've done quite a lot of the layout so far so it'll be a good exercise and a good test to see if you can get this up and built and working. Uh, alternatively, you know, you don't need to build it exactly as I've built it here. If you get some better of a route of uh, putting it together, then you should go ahead and get some practice using the layout tool. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.